Bell. Welcome back. It's a three-day event with live jazz, great food and drinks, and art. Right. Doesn't that sound great? <laughs> it does. And here to tell us more about the Fort Herod Jazz Festival are Sam Carr and Brooks Giles. It's good to have both of you. We know the weather's going to hold out yeah. for this, right? <laughs> Weather will not be a factor, but man, a lot of fun that will be going on. Tell us more about what people can expect. Well, again, thanks for having us. It's, it's a three-day event just down the road in historic Harrodsburg at Old Fort Herod State Park. It's three days of live jazz. We kick it off Friday evening. We go all day Saturday and Sunday afternoon. Um, we've got Kentucky Artisan Expo with Arts and Crafts on Saturday. Like I said, we've got award-winning barbecue food vendors. Uh, and this is all free. Uh, the festival's free. There's no admission. Uh, we would just, if you want to come and enjoy, enjoy everything, just bring a lawn chair and a blanket. and. Uh, Make, make a weekend out of it. Sounds like a perfect idea it to does. me. It does. Brooks, I know you're a native Kentuckian. You were excited to hear what was going on down the road in Harrodsburg and wanted to be a part of this. Yes, I was. Uh, I found out about the festival when I moved back to Kentucky to take care of my parents. And uh, after traveling, uh, spending a lot of years on the road overseas, and I was so excited to know that there was a festival right here in Kentucky. And I called Sam, and he went on my website www.brooksgiles.com and he invited my group to uh, close out the festival Sunday from 4 to uh, 6. You're closing it out. You're starting it. So tell us more about the performers. Well, the, the, the neat thing is the headline act is Adrian Crutchfield who was the last uh, horn player, saxophonist, to record and tour with Prince. Oh, uh, from 2012 to 2016 when Prince passed away, Adrian was his... Uh, music director and his saxophonist. And Adrian's, he's played with Lionel Richie, Bette Midler, uh, international jazz musician, and he, he reached out to us. So he's the headline act on Saturday evening, uh, taking the stage around 8.30. That sounds fun. You uh, obviously are there in the historic site of Old Fort Herod, which is uh, an, an additional attraction to being there. It's, it's a great venue. Uh, lots of shade trees. We have some picnic tables, which will probably go pretty quick. Um, lots of lawn, just to bring a lawn chair and a blanket. It's a, it's a fantastic venue for this festival. Brooks, it has to be exciting to you as you come back to this area and see how vibrant the arts community is. It's changed so much. I remember uh, coming to Lexington as a child and to Louisville to see concerts. My parents were great troopers. I mean, they would have to sit through a lot of loud rock concerts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, here we go. But it's wonderful to see what's going on in our, in our small towns now, including it's incredible. Uh, the, the first community in Kentucky, right? Yes. <laughs> so, so it'll be a yeah, great weekend you. of music. We appreciate it. Thank you all. all right. Thank you. And